Hello, my name is Mrs. Susco, in case you guys don't know. And today we are going to be working with a clarinet and we are going to work on long tones. Now long tones are really important. So I'm sure you guys might have played some long tones before you start practice sometimes. So this is really important, especially when you practice individually because it has so many different benefits for you guys. So the first thing is it helps build our lung capacity. So as musicians, we are constantly trying to build our lungs and make sure we're taking nice, big, deep breaths. And so we're able to hold out notes that are a little bit longer so we can hold them out longer and have a good tone with them. In order to do this, in order to make a good sound while we are practicing our long tones, we have to work on breathing and make sure we're breathing from the right place as well as we're taking good, deep, deep breaths. That way we're able to hold out our notes with a good tone. Our next thing that long tones can help with, it can help us understand if we're making the correct embouchure. So an embouchure is what it looks like when you put your clarinet in your mouth. So that is the shape your face will make um, and we have to keep a specific shape so we make sure we're having a good sound. Our last thing that um, long tones help with is our tone. So the tone is the quality of sound when you play your instrument. So your tone of your instrument, you want to have a good tone. And we want to make sure that this tone is not bouncy or anything. If you're holding out long tones, then it should be a consistent tone. There should be no bounce. We want to make sure that we're keeping in mind all the things that we talked about, our embouchure, our breathing, and our lung capacity. We build our lung capacity, but we need to make sure we're breathing correctly and having a good embouchure while we're playing our long tones in order to get a good tone or a good sound. So we're gonna work on breathing first. Breathing is very important because if you have to play clarinet, you have to breathe correctly. So when we breathe, we wanna not think about right up here. We're not thinking about our lungs. We are breathing right from down here. So near our belly, our diaphragm. So when we breathe, we need to make sure our diaphragm is expanding and retracting. So what I want you guys to practice is I want you to take one hand, put it right past where your tummy is. So you're gonna keep it here. And when we breathe, we want our tummy to reach and to be able to touch the hand. So I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna give four counts and then I'm gonna show you breathing in and breathing out. So one, two, ready, go. So you see how I'm taking nice deep breaths. They're coming from right here, not from up here. So what I want you guys to do, I'm gonna give four counts and I want you to breathe with me. Take your hand, take any hand, put it right past your belly and I want your hand to be able to touch your belly when you breathe in. So one, two, ready, breathe. Good. So you see how we did that. So we need to make sure our diaphragm is expanding and that is going to help us have better lungs and better breast support. So our next thing is our embouchure. So I'm going to grab my clarinet. Go ahead and grab your clarinet. So we're going to work on embouchure. When you play clarinet, I want you to say ew. So what we're gonna do is it's important to say e at first because your tongue has a lot to do with your sound. So we wanna make sure our tongue is nice and high because if our tongue drops, that's when we go flat, which means we get our pitch lowers a little bit. So we wanna make sure we're keeping it nice and high. So in order to do this, say e with me. E, say it again. E. So that's what the inside of your mouth is going to look like. Now the outside, you're going to say, ooh. 
So ew, that way we get the inside of our mouth and the outside. So this is important because we want our chin to be flat and we want our uh, corners of our mouth to be firm. So go ahead and place it in, ew. So that's what our embouchure should look like. And we wanna make sure we keep this consistent embouchure so that our tone is good. So make sure when you are playing to not put much pressure on the reed. That is really important because that can cause issues with getting a sound out, with the reed vibrating, or with squeaking. So we want to make sure we're not putting a lot of pressure on that. Your lip should be there, but it shouldn't be putting a whole lot of pressure. So what we're going to do, we're going to start with four counts, just four, and we're going to do it a couple times, but it's going to be on C, on the note C. So thumb, one, two, three. So we're going to do this. I am going to show you an example first. So I'm going to breathe in four, play C for four, and then continue. So I'll show you. One, two, three. Mm. you guys to try this with me. So we want to make sure our tone is very consistent and make sure you're taking a nice deep, deep breath in between. So we have enough air to last. Okay. So I'm going to give us four counts and then we're going to breathe in four and then we're going to play four and then we're going to continue with that. So four counts, breathe four, play four, breathe four, play four, and we'll continue, let's say four times. So one, two, ready, breathe. Breathe. Good, good, good. So now we did, we've done four counts. Let's try and see if we can hold it out eight counts. We're gonna do eight counts and I want us to assess how we do afterwards. Let's see if we have enough air or if we need to take a bigger breath, okay? So I'm gonna show you guys, actually you guys can go ahead and do it with me. So we're gonna, I'm gonna give you four counts to count off. Breathe in four and play for eight. So one, two, ready, breathe. Good. So another thing to keep in mind, if you are counting, which you should be counting, but make sure to not do a bouncy, bounce between the counts. So when we're counting one, two, three, four, we, we don't want to do this. We want to make sure it's nice and smooth. So I'm going to count four and then I'll play for eight. Good. So this is an example of keeping very smooth. I want you guys to make sure though you are counting. So we've got eight counts. If you need, tap your foot or tap your toe. Or if you have a metronome, which a metronome is a cool thing that uh, keeps the beat. So you can play that and set it to a specific tempo. I would say about 70. Let's try 70 beats per minute. Uh, put that on and that'll help you as well keep the um, beat. But for right now, we're just going to tap our toe. So let's do it all together. I'm going to give you four counts. We're going to breathe in for four and play out for eight. Okay. One, two, ready, breathe. Breathe in, two, three, four. In. One last time, two, ready, play. Good. 
All right, so that was the C. So what we're gonna do, we're going to try changing notes. So we have a C, so thumb, one, two, three, and then D, the note D, so that'll be thumb, one, two, and our last note is going to be E, which is thumb, one. So what I'm gonna show you guys, we're just gonna go in between. So I'm gonna give you four counts to breathe in, and I'll show you guys first. Four counts to breathe in, four counts on C, four counts on D, and four counts on E. I'm gonna show you guys the first time. If you need to breathe, that is all right, but try and hold it and see if you can get that good tone. Make sure you're taking nice deep breaths from your diaphragm instead of from your lungs. You wanna do it from your diaphragm. So make sure it's nice and big breaths. So I'm gonna show you guys the first time so you know what to expect. All right, I'm breathing in for four. So that is C, D, E. And this time I did not tongue. So we're gonna just slur it. Uh, go ahead and do this with me. I'm gonna give you four counts to breathe and we'll do C for four, D for four, E for four. One, two, ready, breathe. Okay, good. So now we're gonna try it one more time. This is gonna be our last one, but we are going to tongue each one. So we're gonna breathe in for four, play C, and then tongue after C, you wanna tongue D, and then E. One, two, ready, breathe. All right, so with this, we wanna make sure our tongue is nice and light. We don't wanna put a lot of pressure because we should just hear a little bit of separation from the notes. It shouldn't be very much. So instead of doing this, we're doing So I should hear the separation, but it's not too much separation because we want it to play nice and legato, which means nice and smooth. So let's try this one last time. One, two, ready, breathe. Good job, guys. So I want you guys to be practicing this as much as you can. If you have a metronome, you can use one on a phone or if you have an actual metronome, use that, set it at about 70 and practice that. Start with four, then move to eight, 12. And as far as you can get, make sure you're using your diaphragm and having nice big breaths. And if you guys want with some extra time, if you have a tuner, Make sure to use that. And if it has the little line that shows how sharp or flat, what I want you to do is practice each note. Practice playing C, D, and E, and write down your tendencies. So your tendencies is how, like the little line, if it's not right in the middle, if it's tilted a little, I want you to write that number. And that way you know if normally when you play it, if you're playing sharp or flat and you know how to correct it. So make sure that you're keeping E with a high tongue, ooh on the outside, with your corners firm, but your lip not as much pressure. But make sure, practice with that tuner and see if you can get it right in the center. All right, good job, you all. I hope you have a wonderful day.